Hello, my name is Julian Ruith and I'm an engineer at CMZ. In this video, we're going to give an introduction to using the Manual Guide I. For those of you who are not familiar with it, it's Fanuc's conversational tool, which will help us to program different machining operations without having to know the ISO G code. To start the program, we will use one of the fixed forms that CMZ incorporates into its machines, more specifically, the beginning G10. We can find the fixed form in the lower menu in the section Fixed Forms Turning. We select the beginning G10. Once we have entered it, we need to replace the question marks to adapt them to our process. The data we're going to change is the following. The zero piece in the line with the command G10, where Z will be minus 100. In the line T, where we will call the tool in position 1 with the corrector 1. The rotation speed S, 400, feed rate F, 0.25. The positioning point to start the cycle, which in our case will be the diameter 105Z5. To insert the raw dimensions, we use the section COM DIB of the lower menu. We choose the cylinder option and we fill in the data for the diameter, length and the measurement that we want to face. To do the facing, we have two options, user the manual guide I or the fixed form. We're going to do it with the fixed form. After inserting it, we need to modify the levels. We replace the question marks with the necessary values. Positioning point to face X105 outside of the raw diameter Z0 to face the 3mm in one coat and we go back to the starting point X105Z5. Now we will turn the piece with a roughing and finishing cycle. For this, we look for the button for the machining cycle, turning, exterior turning and rough finish. Once we have selected that, it will ask for the cutting conditions. We will enter the data adapted to our tool and material. When we have finished, it will ask us to draw the profile. The figure that we are going to do has a total machine length of 80 mm with three diameters. The first two have a diameter of 50 and 70 mm and a length of 30 mm each. And the third has a diameter of 90 and a length of 20 mm. The entry to the diameter of 50 has a chamfer of 1 times 0.5. The profile is created from lines that we create by giving the points. To finish, we will go up to diameter 100, which is the raw diameter, and we will close the profile with the Connect Blank button on the lower menu. We create the figure and tell it to write it into the program. Now, before changing to the next tool, we're going to create the tool in the Tool Manager. This operation is necessary in order to be able to simulate the program. We come out of the main menu and select the Tool Manager. To start, we have to add a tool. When we create it, it asks for the group and number of the tool. It is recommended that the group should coincide with the corrector that the tool is going to use and the number with the position it has in the turret. In this case, 0101. This tool is for roughing. It is in the catalog that we downloaded previously, so we will export it from there. We go into the catalog and select the roughing tool. After loading it, we go into the individual tool settings and fill in the first bit of the tool section, offset 01. At this point, it loads the rest of the fields that we need to fill in. The fields we need to fill in are tool radius, 1.6, tip direction, 3, type of tool, general, settings position, 1, and the angles of the tool, 95 and 80 degrees. After creating it, and since we have already finished with these operations, we will use the fixed sentence milling to change the tool and activate axis C since we are going to use a motorized tool. We modify the question marks of the fixed sentence X300, Z300, T0202, S2000 feed rate 200, positioning point X30, Z5. It asks us again for the feed rate in the C axis activation. We can repeat the value or delete it. Now we will do six holes with a depth of 30 millimeters in the face of the cylinder, with a circular pattern of 15 radius without punctures and with the tool withdrawn in the reference position. We select the cycle for drilled milling machining. We fill in the cutting conditions following those of the figure. Once that is done, we write it into the program. Now we're going to create the tool in the Tool Manager. This time we're going to create the tool without using the catalog. That means we're going to fill in the data ourselves. Group number 2 of Tool 2 we are going to call Drilling D10 and we are going to enter the individual settings. Like before, the first thing is Offset 2 and the rest of the fields to fill in appear. Radius 5 Tip Position 0 Type of Perforation Tool Position 2 
Nose angle 140 degrees. With the tool created, we go back to the program. We repeat the tool call, in this case for T0303, radial milling of 6 diameter, and we change the positioning point X75Z40. The operation we're going to do is a keyway in the YZ plane with a width of 10 mm and a length between centers of 10 mm with a depth of 5 mm. Its positioning will be in the diameter of 70 to a level of Z40. We select the cycle machining milling pocketing rough. Next, we fill in the cutting and figure conditions. Since this is the last operation, we put in the fixed sentence for a change of tool station. We deactivate the C axis and select Program End. Now all we have to do is create the milling cutter in the tool manager. Group 03, tool number 03. Name, radial milling D6. In individual settings, offset 03, radius 3, position 0. Tool type, flat end mill tool, position 1. And with that, we can now simulate the program. So we go back to the home screen and in the lower menu, change the screen. This takes us to the simulator. We rewind and start up the simulation. I hope this tutorial has helped you get to know the Manual Guide I. If you don't want to miss any of our videos and tutorials, subscribe to the CMZ channel.